land your dream job by using these three ChatGPT prompts to make your resume stand out. Rewrite this resume bullet point to focus on outcome driven statement. So instead, after we run ChatGPT, deliver customized product demos and presentations resulting in a 25% increase in client engagement and a 15% boost in conversion rate. So what I recommend you do is you look back on your career and you try to find those numbers, those specific metrics. So it doesn't have to be exactly how we have it here. It just has to be written in a way that has specific numbers that show matter of a fact. So many resumes on the market are tasks and responsibilities things that you could do versus things you have done. And that's how you stand out in 2025 is that you build your resume around outcome driven statements and stories versus simple tasks and responsibilities. The second prompt we'll use is use the star framework. So situational tasks, action and result format to turn this experience into an impact oriented bullet point. So again, just using this as is, it's very boring. It will just get glossed over and most likely your resume will be put into the rejection pile. Seed it monthly sales target by 20% through strategic prospecting and personalized client engagement, contributing to 30% increase in team revenue. But the idea is that we're taking these boring bullet points, these tasks and responsibility focused bullet points, and we're turning them into a value focused metric, success statement and career highlight that will stand out amongst other resumes. Now the final prompt we'll use is, so rephrase this, and I have my experience there, to better align with the sales expectations, focusing on the value I can deliver for the target role. Include placeholder metrics and numbers where it makes sense. And so you can see here, develop and nurture lasting relationships with both new and existing clients, resulting in a 30% increase in customer retention and a 15% growth in upsell opportunities. So all you're doing is you're taking what you've already done in different roles, and it could be a retail role or it could be a volunteering role, but anything where you have done something, you've had an impact, you've driven value, you take those resume bullet points you have right now, and then go back into your career and try to extract those numbers and, and turn those boring tasks and responsibility focused bullet points into bullet points that are focused on results. Like and follow for more videos just like this.